Yesterday, the Select Committee was told by a representative of the UK chemicals industry that the cost to the sector of registering all chemicals under the new UK REACH system after the 1st of January will be about £1 billion because of the government's negotiating decisions. Can the right honourable gentleman explain why in the midst of an economic crisis the government has chosen to impose such enormous costs and red tape to no benefit whatsoever on one of our most important and successful industries? Well, the right honourable gentleman is absolutely right that the chemical sector is one of the many economic success stories of the United Kingdom. It's an inevitable consequence of leaving the European Union single market and customs union and freeing ourselves from the jurisdiction of the Court of Justice of the European Union uh, that we do have to have our own regulatory systems in place and they will enable us to be uh, competitive and to take advantage of increased autonomy and independence in the future. One of the great prizes of leaving the European Union is that when it comes to life sciences and other areas we'll be freed from the often anti-science and anti-innovation approach that the EU has had hitherto. The woman in the maroon jumper. Um, I run a, a chemical company in Aylesbury. Um, over the past 30 years, we've grown from nothing to a medium-sized company, employing people here, buying products from all over the world, in, bringing them into the UK and selling them in the UK and in Europe. Because of the trade uh, barriers that are being put up by Brexit and the duplicated regulations, the incre massively increased costs and bureaucracy of Brexit, we are having to now bypass the UK for half of our business. I don't want to do this. I want to employ people in the UK. I want to pay UK taxes and I want to support UK services. On the other hand, the leading figure in Ineos, major chemicals company, has written to the head of the European Union, to Monsieur Juncker, to say that the regulations that have come from the European Union have made investing uh, in the EU, from his point of view, um, something that is not worth doing because the regulations are strangling business. Ineos has announced that it's chosen Belgium as the location for its new 3 billion euro petrochemical plants, the biggest investment it's ever made.